It can hide the ground and lie behind you, yet still be plainly seen. It lives by light and dies by dark, yet always flees the sun. Of what is it that I speak? It's obvious now. It's obvious now. I'm recording a third part because... Well, battling the Sphinx at this stage is not advisable. And plus, the... Ah, what was the other thing? Oh yes, the number of videos in the playlist. I want that to be an even number. Call me OC. Now then, it's obvious. Have you figured it out? It starts with an S. It's Shadow! It's got to be, right? Your answer is correct. Yes. But that was an easy one. Now, answer me this. Uh oh. Who is the holy protector? Well, you didn't say this wasn't any harder. That has got to be Gera. Again, you are correct. But still, I have one final question for you. Now, answer me this. Who is the Holy Defender? That was Anaphus, wasn't it? Was. You are wise indeed. You may pass. Ah, uh, at last. Oh, and he may vanish. Okay then. Okay, fair enough. Almost buried by the sands of time on this enchanted isle, a magnificent temple shrine towers upward into the sky. Hmm. It doesn't look too bad. Tain, just in case, why not hasten ourselves? Forgot BB. Um, and Toughen as well. Toughen. Um, we don't have enough mana, so just toughen those two. And yourself, of course. Okay. I'll give them ten more temporary hit points. Well, plus ten to the maximum for now. So, what's this? It's a pile of sand. Radiating throughout the entry chamber of the shrine, a magical aegis harbors the sanctum from unwanted entry. Mm. Well, what's this pile of sand doing here? I mean, there's sand everywhere around us, but this pile is levitating. Um, Kappa One, you are the main character. Why don't you see what you can do about this? i.e. the ornate staff. We're supposed to use this, right? The magic aura of the Aegis begins to dissipate, slowly releasing its grip upon the chamber walls. Then, with a sudden crash like shattering glass, the aura vanishes. Can't use it on the uh, pile of sand. Uh, this certainly is a weird place. Hey, you two, you'd better not kill BB again. Excellent. Good. They are tough, aren't they? Phew. No longer. Let's move in. Oh, boy. This is Egyptian, all right. Now, how do we enter this thing? Ah. Thank you. Okay. Stand right there. Uh, uh, now you have it. Now you don't. You weren't permitted entry into this temple. Now I'll take that and that and that. Thank you. Ha! <laughs> we didn't fall asleep for very long. Hmm. Is there? Yeah. This this looks like another door. 
It's not another door. Or maybe it is, and I just have to pull this. There goes that. Oh boy. This is going to be tough, isn't it? I have a feeling it might even be as tough as the Serpent Isle. Okay, we have our map. Let's go. A warm, odorless breeze gusts from the shadows of the gaping pit before you. Looking down into the darkness, you ponder what might lie below, living or otherwise. <laughs> Is that really a nice thing to think about? Look, there, there, there's a company of uh, cockroaches over there. Uh, there's a button there. Nothing this side. Uh, are we going to have to go the Silent Hill 2 route and jump down? Uh, well, I, I can see the bottom. Ah, well. These uh, temporary hit points won't last forever. Let's use them while we can, I suppose. I, I sure hope this works. Unless it's one of those... Uh, leap of faith of things. Let's go. We're alive. Hey, Bibi. Let's light this place up. Thank you. Oh, look. Bright sand. Okay, there's nothing else down here. Um, how do we get out? Oh, we'll just walk into it. Uh, not you! Uh... That... Well, it's, it, this isn't your shrine exactly either, is it? Now, uh... Ah, they're frightened. That can't last forever, right? I know for a fact that, uh, that... Yeah, paralyze... Paralyzation doesn't last forever either. Okay, we aren't crippled, so it's fine. Mm, can't go that way. Uh huh. Going over here. This place is really dark. I just noticed that there are no lights whatsoever. And BB is our only source of illumination. Wow. I thought that was an entrance into the. I'm so sorry! Into the void. Ah. Uh, a gold scorpion. Oh, look. Ah. Ah, uh, you don't look too big, do you? Perhaps we should have just sliced them rather than crushed them. Uh, that chamber looks heavily trapped, so I'm going over here for now. Okay, we can't fly, so no going up there. Uh, what about here? Oh, a chest. There must be something in here. It will not have a squix in it. See? <laughs> okay. And... Ooh! Oh, well, another ruined figurine. And an ank, yes! And a ring. Mm, yeah, nice stuff. Ruined figurine. Give that to Tane. You can keep the ank. That uh, ring doesn't look too bad either. Nice. So we only just entered, and we're already making progress. That's good. Now... Is this one giant trap? Yeah! There's your answer. Well, was this made to kill cockroaches whenever someone walked into the room? You've got to wonder. Okay... Okay. After these go up again, we'll make a dash. Oh. 
Huh. That's a that's a very big door handle. And they're still the blackest doors I have ever seen. I mean, you can't even light them up. This has definitely got to be a cockroach and rat trap. Oh. Well, we're going to get the ones responsible for this, don't you worry. What? Uh, I, I can't see the floor! Uh, I, I think this is a floor. Yeah, 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 Th this is a floor. Hmm. Oh boy. Well, I, I heard pyramids were trapped with lots of stuff and all, but this is definitely a bit more intimidating than I expected. <laughs> so we'll leave it at that for now, everyone. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.